Well, Texas Children's has uh, many physicians out on the front lines at their Texas Children's practices and certainly all of our doctors on the inpatient service. Um, we, and along with our nursing staff and all of our staff in our offices, really have the duty and oppor opportunity and duty to educate parents about the importance of immunizations. And really at every visit, it's important to evaluate if the child's immunizations are up to date and then to offer the vaccines that are needed. And really the education occurs at that time. The Immunization Project has been around since the mid-1990s and it was really the um, interest of Dr. Ralph Feigen to be part of the solution with, with regard to low childhood immunization coverage. Um, in the late 1980s um, there was a measles outbreak that it was nationwide and um, the immunization coverage for Houston's toddlers in 1991 was about 11 percent. So only 11 percent of Houston toddlers were adequately immunized and so he really wanted to get behind them and really out of that the immunization project was birthed. Well, we certainly know that, that um, without vaccines, the diseases are very harmful. And unfortunately, even over the last decade at Texas Children's, we've continued to see some of these diseases. And we wanted to share those patient stories, those families who have been harmed and devastated by a disease, we wanted to share their story with, with, with people. And so Rachel Cunningham um, and with the backing of Dr. Carol Baker, um, we've gone out and interviewed some of these families. And um, the Texas Children's photographers um, helped us photograph them and we put together um, this collaborative book about their stories so that people could really relate to um, the devastation on the other side when you fail to vaccinate your child. We've had just phenomenal feedback about the book. Um, people have said, thank you for doing this. We're so glad it's out there. Thank you for telling kind of the medical side of this story. Um, and we've gotten some anecdotal information from physicians that they're really using the book as a tool to start the critical conversation with families who are vaccine hesitant or vaccine concerned. It's sort of an icebreaker, if you will, to kind of get families um, and physicians talking about it. And um, sometimes physicians will send it home with families with not much said or sometimes they'll actually say why don't you actually look at these stories and point out some of the ones that are more salient to the, either that physician or that family.